Hello there and welcome to Affiliate Black Ops. Uh, in this particular lesson what we're going to do is actually show you how to set up a Google AdWords account. Now for those of you who have actually done this before or know exactly what to do then you can skip this lesson. Uh, what we're trying to do here is help the beginner, the newbie, uh, who's never actually uh, used Google much and definitely does not have a Google AdWords account. Now. With Affiliate Black Ops, what we're trying to do is actually teach people how to make money online. But with this particular lesson as well, if you have a business, uh, whether it be a green grocers or a multinational company, and you've never used AdWords before, then this is the lesson which you need to listen to. If for any reason you get stuck or you're not sure, just rewind the video back to the beginning and yes, watch it again and watch it over and over again because everything is explained in here what you need to do. Now, before we actually set up the account, what I want to do is actually quickly show you how Google works and how they display their AdWords ads. So what I've done is typed in new car here into the search bar and I've clicked on search and the results come up with Google AdWords here, one, two and three and also where it says ads here on the right hand side. So all these particular listings here are Google AdWords. All right, these here are the natural results, which we will deal with in a later lesson. Um, but for today, all we're interested in is Google Ads. So these people here, the first one is voxel.co.uk. When you type in new car, new car deals 2011, great new car deals from Voxel, 0% finance and pay monthly offers. So there we go. That's the number one and number two, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Google will show a maximum of ten ads and ten natural results. Hello then. So what we'll do is actually crack on and actually set up our AdWords account. So first of all, we need to sign into Google. Now, in previous lessons, I've actually showed you how to set up a Google account. It's very simple. All we do is actually enter a a email address and password and we created a new account but in this case what's, what's happened here is the computer's remembered my login name and my password and all I do is quickly just sign in. Where it says settings I click on there and Google account settings and I also need to click on where it says AdWords. So what we presented with here is our page which says create your first campaign. Two things you need when you're creating an AdWords account is a live active credit card or debit card and obviously a website or a landing page where you want to send traffic on or traffic to. So we're going to jump straight in and create our first campaign. I'm going to call this campaign um, SEO. Now we'll go down the checklist Location and languages as I'm in the United Kingdom, okay, where it's, it's actually default into the United Kingdom, I can actually uh, choose which country and territory, right down to zip level, postcode level, where I want to actually display my ads. In this particular case, I want them to be displayed uh, in the whole of the United Kingdom. I can choose the language which I want, obviously, I'm English, I can choose whichever language I want to uh, uh, put my ads into, they can be displayed there. All I need to do is just click on whichever language I want them to be displayed into. Okay, network and devices. Now, as I've showed you here, this is the Google results page. Okay, what happens is Google defaults to Google search, which is Google search, and also search partners and relevant pages across the entire network. I do not want these to be display there. So what I will do is actually untick those. I don't want them to be showed on YouTube or any other partner sites. I just want them on the Google search results pages. Right, devices, devices. Again, desktops and laptops, computers, iPhones and other mobile phones, internet browsers. Now, I'm quite happy for my ads to be shown on iPhones and other mobiles, so I'm quite happy to keep that. So I'll keep all available devices. Bidding and budget. How much do I want to spend? Now, Google would like me to spend a lot of money. Okay, now I can, there's two things where I've got a, a choice here. I can manually uh, bid for my clicks. 
it's how AdWord works. It works on a cost per click basis, or I can let Google automatically do uh, my bidding for me. Now, I want to be in charge of this to start off with, so I'm going to click manual. Okay, so I'm going to choose a budget of £25 per day. And I've also got the uh, position preference as well. Okay, I won't go into this into, into great detail here. In the uh, future lessons of Affiliate Black Ops Elite, we will be actually discussing uh, a little bit more detail, in detail, of how to uh, look at what to spend uh, on a cost per click basis and going to AdWords in a lot more in depth. Uh, but what we're trying to do on this one is just get you up and running and just basically show you the very, very basics. Okay. So automatically manage your cost per click, bid to any range, display ads in any position. I'm going to keep that as a default. And standard delivery ads, um, we want to just, if, if we've got a £25 budget, Google will work out over a period of 24 hours how many times my ad can be showed uh, depending on the particular keyword. Sounds a little bit complicated, but I have two options here. I can basically do an accelerated, show my ads as quickly as possible or I can do a standard delivery. I want standard delivery, so that's what I'm going to do. Add extensions. Again, I'm not going to go into that today. Don't want to do that. Okay, and at advanced options, I can, I'll just show you this one. Okay, uh, you can start, and also there's a start date, which is today's date, it's the 2nd of March 2011, or an end date. Now, relevance of this is, is if you've got a, a particular event going on, and the event say is on say at the end of March, say the 31st of March. I do not want my ads to show after the 31st of March, so I just slam simply just type in there 31st of March if I want to, and my ads won't show after that date. So if I forget that uh, I've still got an AdWords campaign running uh, and the event is on the 31st of March, after that particular day, the ads will not show and I will not get billed any more extra money. Now, ad scheduling. Again, what happens is a 24-7 uh, map comes up, and so my ads will run 24-7, but I can adjust these to days and times of the week. So let's say, for instance, on a Monday, I decided that um, I wanted my ads to show from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. Okay, I have the option there to click OK, and as you can see, this particular part here, okay, is where my ads will show and my ads will not show on these particular days. Now, if I want to, I can uh, I can default that to every day of the week or just on certain days, just in the weekdays, and have the, just turn it off at the weekends if I want to. What is the relevance of this? Well, you might find that uh, when you look at the demographics uh, of your website, certain people go on, certain age groups go on at certain times, depending on what product and what um, uh, what service you're delivering might, um, in some cases, actually uh, warrant turning ads on and turning them off at certain times of the day. It just gives you flexibility. So I'm just going to keep it just for, for argument's sake. On a Monday, I want to keep it there just for demonstration purposes. So as you can see, my ads are scheduled to run 92% of the time now. So I save and continue. Okay, I've got an error in there. Which one have I got an error? Okay, I forgot to click back on the end date. So I just click on that. Okay, so SEO, this is what I'm trying to sell. Um, so I'm going to report to SEO services. Um, get to number uh, one on Google. Now, I wouldn't type this in a normal ad, but I'm just trying to show you um, how things work. Now, what I'm going to do is just simply put in a website here, a friend of mine called Chilton Online Services .co uk, and it will remember the automatic devices app to do it. So, what we have here, that's our first ad, SEO services, get to number one on Google, fast track service www.childrenonlineservices.co.uk Put that the right way around. Very important that you do actually get and make sure that um, you do check all the spellings. Uh, if you like me, 
rubbish at spelling. Um, good at writing ads though. So, what we're looking at here, I'm just going to put in here SEO service uh, as one keyword. So we write our ads here. We have the choice of a text ad, an image ad, display ad builder. So basically, Google will actually help you to do this. Or we've got a, uh, a WAP mobile ad here. Now, what we want to do with here, these ones are text ads. These are what we need. Okay. So we defaulted to text ad here. So we just make it here, and then we add our keywords. All right, this is the Google ad, uh, so the Google uh, keyword generator. Um, we can look at different categories: online marketing services. Uh, I'm going to add that as a keyword as well. All right, and we can actually estimate the search traffic, how much it's going to be. Uh, cost per day is one pound seventy-one. Okay, that's fair enough. And uh, we can select managed placements if we want to. I'm not going to go into that into detail onto this one, but um, right, I'm going to need to choose a default bid. How much do I want to pay for this? So I'm going to go for 49 pence, okay? 49 cents, 49 pence, um, and we'll see where we go with it. So we save and continue to bill him. Okay, we've got another. Please correct the error below. Where are we looking here? Uh, this does not, uh, where we go with that? Right, this ad does not meet our editorial guidelines. Please correct the problems. Google AdWords detail. Let's have a look. Right. Um, you'll find this sometimes if you're promoting a product, which is, um, let's say, for instance, that the, um, the particular brand is copyrighted. Sometimes Google doesn't allow you to show that. So basically, we need to work around this. It doesn't like the word on... Google. So we're going to put in search engine results pages. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we're in there. We're okay. Fine. So what we need to do now is actually set up the account. So we go through the billing. And this is where Google asks us to get our credit card out. So have your credit card in hand. Uh, I am in the United Kingdom, which is there. And we continue. So the update. Okay, all we need to do here is actually fill in our name, our address, our town, our country. Once we've actually done that, it takes you through to the credit card details. You fill that in, and that is it, folks. You will be up and running on Google AdWords. It is as simple as that. As I say, in future lessons, what we're looking to do is actually go into AdWords in more detail. We will show you some little tips and tricks of how to get better AdWords positions. Um, but like I say, this lesson is purely for the newbie. If you do get stuck, rewind it and start again. Very, very simple, um, easy to do. Any problems, contact me, Rob W at walker5.co.uk.